and everything that is put before you. Something my mama taught me well. You know what I mean? She's like, here's the Bible, here's the Quran. What do you want to want? Figure it out for yourself. You know how to read. You know what I mean? And everything that you ingest, you have to always remember a book. No matter what that book is, whether it's Shakespeare, it's an old line that suffered the rays of outrageous fortune and dust of in them, or any other written word that you digest or ingest, you have to question it because it was written by another man, another human being. And no one man has all the answers. A lot of people take the Bible face value that it's God's word. But nobody's looking in the upper left-hand corner of that page. It says the book of Timothy. Timothy was a man, so it's written by a man. Now, what is told to us is that it was under the inspiration of the heavens. God inspired them to write the book. Now let's do the definition of the word inspiration. I can inspire another young comedian to want to do comedy. But it's everything I do, the butt naked truth and the laws of the universe. As Richard Pryor inspired me to do comedy. But do I really want to follow everything he did? Because if I did, I'd set myself on fire and be smoking crack. So all of us are a dual examples. There's certain parts of Eddie Griffin that you can follow to the letter and it'll be success. And there's other parts of my life you want to stay the hell away from. Because trust me, if you jumped in my shoes, you jumped the fuck right back out. No, nope, nigga, I don't want to be you. You understand me? So the truth of the matter is individual. Your truth will never be my truth. There is a basic but naked correlating truth that goes through all humanity. But then we all find our individual truth in this journey called life. 